According to the CDC, about 3,700 babies died of sleep-related injuries in the U.S. causes in the U.S. in 2015. WSLS 10's Jessica Jewell has the story of a local mother who lost a child to SIDS. Jessica Sexton gave birth to her baby girl, Nevea in 2012. She was the most perfect baby ever. But just 37 days later, everything changed. It just so happened that I fell asleep with my child. Well, then my husband at the time was on the couch and then he took my baby out of my arms and went to bed with her. The next day, Jessica says she found Nevea blue and lifeless. The official cause of death, SIDS. I based my whole life on my daughter. I was 18 years old. I was a baby that just had a baby and now I'm burying my child. She's not alone. Every three days in Virginia, a baby dies due to unsafe sleep practices. And the majority of those are because they've been asleep with mom and dad or a, a sibling um, in, in their bed on a couch. So we went to experts at Carillion to find out what you need to know to keep your baby safe. They look cute and cozy and comfortable, but unfortunately these are the things that are really dangerous. Things like blankets, covers, pillows, and stuffed animals in a crib. When we lay the baby down, never on their side, never on their stomach, and they always have to be on their back. An important warning for all parents. It takes less than two minutes for a baby to have the air that they need to breathe before um, their body system shuts down, and it's something that you can never replace. A story Jessica knows all too well, and that she hopes other parents can learn from. That baby is a gift, and just like any gift, it can be taken away that quick. In Withville, Jessica Jewell, WSLS 10.